Yeah, you know, this is, uh, this is what we've been waiting for and hoping for, to put ourselves in a position to, to have a chance to be in the playoffs. And, and we realize that this is a game that um, is, is so very important for us uh, because we, we need these three points to be at least uh, uh, in the picture. Yeah, it'll be a nice homecoming. You know, I got a lot of friends, a lot of family coming out to see me play, so it'll be exciting. But uh, I'm focused on getting the win and making the playoffs. And, I mean, right now it's the most important game of the year. It's the last game. If we win, we have a chance. So it's do or die, pretty much. Yeah, it, uh, it was it was definitely exciting getting my first career MLS goal. So uh, it was a good feeling to uh, get the win. You know, so it counted. It was two to one victory, and Dave put a great ball in, and I was just lucky enough to get my head on the end of it. That's pretty ironic, you know, both the center backs get the goals, and uh, although we created lots of opportunities, uh, those have ended up being the deciding factors in the game. For them to get the two goals to win the game wasn't expected. You know, you expect uh, Jeff Cunningham to be scoring the goals, you expect uh, David Ferreira to score the goals, but you don't expect your two center backs to be scoring goals unless they're off free kicks and, and uh, corner kicks. And I think um, it just shows the strength of those two players that they add more to the team than, than sometimes we give them credit for. Uh, not only are they good defenders, but at, at this point in time, they're, they're becoming dangerous players for us. Uh, it's definitely been a growing experience. I mean, I think it's been six, seven games where we've been together in the middle. And uh, I enjoy playing with him a lot. He's a very experienced player, and he's been teaching me, and I've just been trying to learn as much as possible from him. Since I've been here, we've talked about developing a culture of winning. It's hard to develop a culture of winning without winning. And I think right now we're, we're doing a pretty good job and that culture of winning is starting to get established. With that, players get confidence. With that, players are excited. Um, we keep talking about playing, you know, playing with your heart and, and your body will follow. And we, we really believe in that.